two popular questions we get regarding the saber is one does it come strong and two can it be really strong and answer those questions well i'm going to answer the first one and nikki from unstrung customs no better man is going to help me answer the second question but first question does it come strong and the answer is of course it comes strong and it comes with a great string we've had loads of testers use it and it durability is actually really really good and the second question, can it be restrung? Yes, is the answer. It can be restrung with a manual machine and it can be strung with an automatic machine with the Babington kit. And many pro shops have the Babington kit and similar, Nikki may be able to confirm this, but the squash kit, is that done the same racket? And also, yeah. Nikki is going to tell us he managed to string it without the Babington kit. So, Nikki, jump in here and please tell us. Yeah. Yeah, so um, so obviously, yeah. So I tried to string uh, string it up here the other day, and uh, yeah, the only only difficulty was getting it mounted. But um, I was able. To, I didn't have the badminton kit because I mean there aren't any badminton courts where where we are, so we don't like. There's no need for it. Uh, so it just means that the the outer like where it holds the racket wasn't a problem. It was just making sure that it didn't move when when we were stringing, and I was able to kind of uh, move the clamps in close enough uh, and to get it set up tightly. And I actually put the You'll see in the video that I'll, I'll uh, you know, that you release later on of, of how I did it, um, that I put the, the one of the pins that normally holds the center of the racket, I actually put in the throat, at the bottom of the throat, so where your left hand is, uh, I just put it in there, and that just stopped it. Okay. So where about did you put it? Exactly, yeah, there. Okay. Uh, so I had okay. one pin in there, and then it was blocked from both uh, from both sides. And because the tension isn't so high... Uh, it's not getting, you know, you're not going to like deform the shape of the racket or anything like that because uh, I strung it at 13 kilos, um, which is about 30 pounds, roughly 30 point something pounds. Okay, that's what we recommend, 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, I was curious to know what your thoughts on that. I have two other questions. Oh, sorry, one was that question because yep. I know we're going to be asked a lot tension-wise. And the second question I have for Nikki is you've, you've held thousands of rackets. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell me what is the quality like and the paint job, your honest opinion. Uh, I'm not paying yeah. Nikki to say this, no. but he's... <laughs> No, I. Um, I mean, I was. To be honest, I was like when I first tested it, I was really surprised of like how hard you could hit the ball with it. You know, it wasn't like uh, you felt like if you hit too hard or for too long, it might break eventually. Like it just felt like a normal racket with a very very small head, which was was quite quite a cool feeling. Um, and it's um, yeah, the quality and I think the new paint job looks great as well. Uh, the colors and everything. I think the name is cool as well. So. Um, yeah, but the, the quality was great. Even, you know, like the, the frame itself, the way you, uh, it felt in, even in the machine and stuff, you know, because if it was made with like, let's say, cheaper sort of uh, like junior rackets, let's say, you know, then if you put it in the machine too tightly, it might sort of deform or anything. But it, um, it came out perfectly. And, and tension wise, uh, like, yeah, like as you said, I think anywhere between what, 12 to 15 kilos. So anywhere between what's that, 26 up to 30 four pounds 35 pounds yeah. i think is is good um that's what we tested all, yeah. our, all our prototypes are 25 to 35 and that was the range and yeah we even played around string patterns we thought you know, 30 works well it's actually strung a little bit tighter than that because look by the time they ship and they get in customers hands they're yeah. going to drop a bit of tension sure. so sure, sure. we factored well we factored yeah. and, the, that and the final string pattern what was what was the final string pattern in the end oh the, we went 12 by 12 so the string 12 pattern was 12 by 12 we did test other string patterns but we talked the size of the head and for yeah. you know the pointer was limited in people complained you couldn't get enough spin they had to change their grip because they had to do the flat yeah With this string pattern works well and you can yeah. use your your western grips and hit plenty of spins yeah, so, yeah you can so actually you can actually hit a lot more spin than, than you would expect because obviously when people think of spin, they think of the racket and then the ball traveling like across all the strings when you hit. That's actually mm. not really how strip spin is generated. Uh, and it's, okay. it's, it's generally generated by pocketing and then the ball kind of flying out, let's say, uh, launching out of the, of the strings at an angle. Uh, and then obviously with the acceleration, it causes the strings to move more, which is what gives it the spin. Uh, so you can hit with more than enough spin with that, um, which, which was cool. Great. Nikki, 
that's really useful information. I hope uh, people take it on board. And mm-hmm. I said, no better man to speak. If anybody needs some customization, racket paint, and, and Nikki is yep. going to paint one of these for us. But any yes. of those uh, services, Unstrung Customs or Nikki, get on to them. And thanks. Thank Nikki. you very much. Pleasure. Yeah.